what's going on guys? Welcome back to Vapor SMP. Okay, I'm gonna stop the vampire voice. Welcome back to the episode guys, and uh, in the previous episode I was hanging out with Joe and mining some diamonds and stuff like that, and we had lots of fun. And in the intro I said we'd be sorting out the food issue in the episode, which we didn't actually do because I ran out of time in the episode. You know, I'm fitting them in 11 minute time slots. So I spent a lot of time off camera working on stuff, as you can see around me. So here's a quick rundown of everything I've done in chronological order off camera. Here we go. I went mining, found lots of diamonds but left them. I went back to my base to build a ton of farms, which I, which is also when I put hoppers in the egg farm and double chests so I would get lots of eggs. Then I created an AFK fish farm. Then I AFK'd overnight for the next two days. And from that I got fortune two and went back for all the diamonds I left. I completely got overpowered with all my new items and armor, and during the daytime of those AFK nights, I was doing lots of exploring, and found lots of horses and brought them back to my base for breeding and probably selling in the future. And then I made a mini makeshift villager breeder to attempt to get a cartographer, which I did, and then I purchased an ocean monument map and a woodland mansion map. So yesterday I traveled to both of those, which the ocean Man monument was actually pretty close. It was only a few thousand blocks away, but the Woodland Mansion was about 12,000 blocks away, so I'm actually going to have to set up a nether portal there. Um, so yeah. Also, the reason I want the Ocean Monument is so I can create a Guardian Farm and get lots of Sea Lanterns, because I've already planned out the exterior of my base, and it requires a lot of Sea Lanterns. And I'm probably going to sell Sea Lanterns, because they're beautiful blocks, and I want the world to be decorated with them, while still profiting myself, of course. Also, it is in fact episode 3, and for those of you who saw my first season of Cloud SMP, uh, you would know that this is the time when I really try hard some building and make some progress in that department, which I'm going to do, hopefully, sometime in the episode. Oh yeah guys, I've decided that my series is going to focus a lot more on building, collabing, and having serious discussions, and fun stuff like that, and I'm going to stop making only making progress on camera, because uh, it's just slowing me down in the series so much. Um, because now that I've have now that I have all these OP armor and tools and stuff, I can really, I can really get to building some really cool things and having good collabs and stuff. So that's the moment, that's that's the meat and potatoes of any SMP, right? Well, guys, in today's serious discussion, I wanted to talk to you guys about having a desire for change. Uh, in the background, you can see me making some progress on the base, and I've decided to make some. I've decided to choose a plastic fantastic theme for my base this season. Um, so I'm going to be using a lot of concrete, which I already knew because ever since the concrete blocks came out several months ago, they've been my favorite blocks in the game um, because of that reason, because it's so cool. And some of you might already know that I'm a big fan of making custom biomes in Minecraft because it adds uh, such a level of uniqueness to your build and your base uh, because it, it changes the whole surrounding of it. And it adds something, adds something, a whole environment that's new and unique to the game that people haven't seen before. Right? Everyone's seen a mesa before, everyone's seen a forest biome before, which is why I prefer to make my own biomes, kind of, and make them look re really unique and make them stand out. Anyways, here we go with today's serious discussion. In all of our lives, there comes a time when we realize we need to change and improve. We need to promise ourselves that we'll be better people. Not because society needs it from us, not because it'll benefit others, but because we have a personal obligation to ourselves to improve. We owe it to ourselves to be better people. And others deserve to see the result as well. And this applies to relationships as well. If the relationship was going absolutely smooth and fine until a massive argument or problem, then both parties really need to cooperate and to, they need to cooperate to get back to normal or get better than normal what it was before. Uh, with much more trust and respect and love and all that stuff. You have to desire the change for it to begin to take place. And then you have to go on from there. But never let your desire for change ever burn out. We can all change and improve. And the reason I know that is because it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible to be a perfect human. It's a paradox. So if none of us can be perfect, per if none of us can be perfect, that means we can get better. It means there's room for improvement. And even if, it's, even if it's impossible to become perfect, which it is, we can freaking try. All of us can try to be better. And some might think it's pointless because you can't ever become perfect, so why even try? Why even improve? But that couldn't be more wrong. 
it's important because we have to make it important. I mean, seeing as the universe will actually die one day and everything will be completely forgotten and destroyed and deleted permanently, you'd think that means that life has no meaning or purpose. But actually what I found is that it's up to you to create purpose and meaning within your own life. No special entity is going to assign you a purpose. You have to choose. And even better, you get to choose. Which is one of the beautiful things of life. We can choose. And we can choose to be better. Alright guys, welcome back to this clip. And we just, we just got done pranking Joe, actually. Uh, he moved to his new base. And we set up a little wild goose hunt for him a little bit with chests in different locations and they have they have uh, instructions to get to the next chest and it's kind of it's kind of all for a prank um, he will get some loot out of the end we just want to make sure he has to work for the loot so um, he has to go really far away looking for the chests so here's the first chest guys it says open on camera for Joe um, I put that sign there myself actually uh, and yeah there's some redstone here and the first book is called Valley of the Mist by all Jack gaming and uh, yeah, I'm here Actually, I did the renaming because the tile didn't fit, so I used an anvil because I'm smart. I anyway, have no levels. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, so it says, <clears throat> Hello, Joe. Hero and I wanted to give you a small gift to celebrate your new move. However, we do not want to give you the gift. We do not want to give you the stuff for free. So we are, going to, we are going to be sending you on a journey through the Valley of the Mist, a scary and dangerous path, but I feel that a noble man such as yourself can make this quest. If you feel up to the task, then turn the page and gain the knowledge of the Whisps. Good luck, brave soul. And uh, it says to start your journey, please go to 1301 and 14, uh, 4790 and let the redstone light the way. That is the first hint. And uh, yeah, let's go to that. Let's go to that place. All right, guys. Here we are at the second location, and uh, X marks the spot as you can see. Uh, that dirt just got turned to dirt because we broke it a second ago. So if we dig down and break it. We'll see there's a chest right there with the next book. Um, and he does get this redstone to keep if he wants. <laughs> and it's called Golden Shrine by All Jack Gaming. It says, Congratulations, young soul. You found the first piece to restore the artifact. We cannot rest for a moment, though. The Oracle is gaining power as time wears on. You must hurry. Next, we need to find the Golden Shrine of Maduk. Now we are unable to pinpoint, pinpoint an exact location of the shrine due to the protection spell placed to deter the oracle however we do know that it is around 100 blocks to the east and around 70 blocks to the south good luck sir joe we believe in you so there is the instructions for the next location go and cover that back up all right guys here we are at the third location made of gold and actually i want to quickly mention that as he breaks those that uh you cannot see the locations from each other we want, we want to make sure that they were on different angles of the mountain and stuff like that so you can't see them um so it's not super obvious so uh here's what's in here it's called temple of alaric uh by all jack gaming once again it's alaric alaric sorry oh, i'm american alaric. man i pronounce stuff weirdly clearly <laughs> and it says master joe we have almost completed in the we have we have almost completed in the quest to rid the world of the oracle once and for all. This next clue is the rarest of them all, diamonds. We need the diamond staff of Alaric, sorry, of Alaric for the completion of the spell. The oracle will not know what hit him. Now head south for the, head south. This will be about a day's journey. If you need to rest for the night, then do so as if you then do so. As if you leave at dawn, it will be nightfall before you reach the temple of Alaric. Of Alaric. Good luck, my friend. Alright, guys. Unfortunately, we've run out of time in the episode. However, if you want to see the rest of the quest and how it goes, you'll have to check out Joe's episode on it, which will be linked in the description below if you want to watch it. Also, be sure to check back on the channel next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the next episode of Vapor SMP where I'm probably going to be raiding an ocean monument or something like that. I don't know. Also, thanks to All Jack Gaming for appearing in this episode. You can check out his channel by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, however, be warned, his channel is not PG, so viewer discretion is advised. Please be sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section. And if you can't think of what to tell me, you can just tell me whatever you want, or you can tell me how your day has been going, or maybe you can tell me what you're going to change in your life or what you're going to do to do 
to be better as a person in your life altogether. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, there's a button for that down below. And if you really liked it, there's a button for that too. But anyways, guys, my name is Hero. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.